Hi, this is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today I'm going to be doing an overview on the Dell R720 XD server. So I'm going to open up the machine. And first thing we're going to do is remove this uh, black shroud that's covering the memory and processor. Now this machine is the first uh, generation of Dell servers to support the uh, Intel E5-2600 processors. Now that allows up to 8 cores per processor, and along with hyper-threading, allowing up to 32 threads, which is quite a bit of multitasking capability there. Um, this machine is also one of the first to support quad-channel memory. Now what that does is it not only increases the bandwidth from the old uh, 11th gen servers, this also allows you to have more slots, which allows you to have more memory, obviously. Now this machine will actually feature up to 768 gigabytes of memory using 32 gigabyte sticks. Now from there, there is a uh, H710 uh, RAID controller, which is generally the main one that will come to this machine. It can run with lower end ones, but generally speaking, you really don't want to go with anything lower than that. Now you can see it typically comes with this kind of more proprietary version which kind of fits into its own uh, proprietary spot as opposed to a PCI card like in previous generations. And you can actually see when using the integrated one, the SAS cables actually plug directly into the board and go into the back plane. Now what makes the 720DX server different is the fact that it, rather than having a DVD slot in the front, it actually pretty much removes everything off of the front and allows up to 12 three and a half inch drives, which is quite a bit more than the six on the standard machine. Now from there, there is also an additional set of two two and a half inch drives that you can add if you get the compatible backplane. Now, as far as the expansion as far as the expansion of this machine goes, there are a number of PCI slots and different uh, specs per each kind. There is one 16x full length, full height uh, slot, and then there are three full height, full length, 8x slots, which you can actually see currently here. There are then, on top of that, three 8x full length, half height slots, which then fit into this riser on the right here. Now, as far as network capability goes on this machine, You'll see that rather than just having the ports integrated onto the board, it's actually its own mezzanine card right here. And what this does, it actually allows you to put in your own specific type of network ports that you may want. So say you don't want the 1 gigabit uh, Ethernet ports, and instead you may want uh, 10 base T. You can do that, and then you'll simply have that rather than needing an expansion a PCI card instead. Lastly, there is a, a DRAC 7, which is new from the DRAC 6, off of the uh, 11th gen servers. Uh, it still covers most of the same functions, but it has some added functionality, and they kind of read it, some of the GUI and everything like that. But it still functions essentially the same. Now there is also uh, two redundant power supplies on the machine in the rear, and they can go between a different number of uh, wattages depending on what you have configured in the machine. And that covers most everything inside of this. Uh, hope this helps and visit us at uh, velocitytechsolutions.com.